What's up guys, this is Yasser. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasser's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about a new brand by the name Sesmir and it is based out of Dubai. This brand is owned by a fellow YouTuber by the name Shajil Malik. His channel is named as Sent On and now he has started a brand named as Sesmir and one of his fragrances that he has released is Intoxic Oud by Sesmir. In case you are interested in buying, I would be giving the website link in the video description area. It is called as Fragaholic. So you can easily purchase that in India as well. Though this is a Dubai brand, Fragaholic is a website that you can purchase online in India. There's no international shipping that you have to worry about. So check out the website in case you are interested in buying. So now coming to the presentation, like I said, Intoxic Oud is one of their releases by the brand Sesmir. And the best part is it's an extract to perform concentration. Now extract to perform is 40 to 45 percent oil. Now the presentation box is actually gorgeous. It has a heavy, heavy box. Okay, not wood. It has a cardboard, but it is very thick. Okay, this is as strong like a plastic. And not talking about cheap plastic, but it is as strong like a plastic, though it is made of cardboard. It has that soft cushioning right here, and this is where the bottle sits. All right. Now the back of the box gives these details which is 60 ml. Now this is a 60 ml and manufactured in December 2020 and it says made in Dubai. Okay, so like I said, this is a Dubai brand. He also is a YouTuber from Dubai and this is how the bottle looks like. Okay, 60 ml, very heavy base. Okay, you can see the difference, right? Very thick glass, typical Middle Eastern style of heavy bottles and this is a cap and it says Intoxic Oud by Sesmir with that little label here. The back is quite plain. Now sprayer is definitely great. Okay, very wide mist gives a soft press. You can use it as much as you want. Like you can go like this. So it's not like one stiff press. You can control the sprayer here that way. Okay, very nice sprayer. Now if you're wondering what the cost is, it is slightly on the expensive side. But let me tell you the presentation, the bottle, the blend definitely has great quality. Now the MRP on the website might show you as 5000, but sometimes I've seen them putting it on discount, which costs between three and a half to 4000, I guess. So you can definitely grab your chance when it comes on discount. It is a 60 ml for that price, but the overall presentation, the blend definitely smells of good quality. Now coming to the fragrance. Now this, just like the name Intoxic Oud is an Oud based fragrance, but nothing on the skanky or animalic type of oud. So as per their website, the notes breakdown says saffron, Cambodian oud and patchouli. But to my nose, I also get some sort of rose accord here. So I'm sure they have used rose as well, but in the nicest way possible because the rose here does not smell feminine at all. It is nicely composed with Cambodian oud and patchouli and that bit of saffron. So the overall blend actually smells very nice. No skankiness, no animalic vibe, easy to wear, but it definitely has that Middle Eastern touch because of Oud. So in case you do not like Middle Eastern based fragrance at all, then this is definitely not your type. But if you're okay to try Middle Eastern type of blends, this is definitely one of your options because the quality is definitely great. In case you want me to relate it to some fragrance, I would say you can compare it with Latafa Velvet Oud, but the blend here is more richer, more thicker than Latafa Velvet Oud because Latafa Velvet Oud has that very nice beautiful opening but does not have any sort of rose vibe. Now this is where it differentiates. It has that nice touch of rose to it. Now when I wore this one day after I tested because when I test it I don't wear it on myself. I just apply two to three sprays on my inner elbow without wearing any fragrance so that I can judge the fragrance well. After a few days of testing, I wore it on my shirt as a scent of my day that day. And after three hours, I received a compliment from my brother because I wasn't expecting it to project in the third hour as well. But surprisingly, my brother came up to me and said, oh, wow, that's a nice oud fragrance that you're wearing. Which one is that? So I was a little surprised because I asked him, are you seriously able to smell it? Because he was about one and a half to two feet away when he was asking me this one. He said, yes, I can definitely smell you. It smells actually great. And I told him that it was this one. So in the third hour, it still projects about one and a half to two feet. And that is 
the performance of this one. So I'm sure it projects about three to four hours. So you can expect about one feet projection in the fourth hour. And it gave me a good lasting of eight to nine hours on my skin. So I'm sure if I wear it on clothes, because when he complimented me, I was wearing it on my clothes. So I'm sure if you wear it on clothes, it can definitely give you 10 to 12 hours of lasting. Because when I tested it, I got about eight hours of lasting and that was on my skin. So overall, the performance is also great. It smells very rich, thick, full body type of fragrance. So in case you like good quality, Middle Eastern type of blends, you can definitely give it a try. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching again. Let me know in case you have tried this. Comment down in the comment section. See you next time soon. Cheers.